Hi everyone, today I'm working on a design in Paper by 53. Hi, it's Steve Elliott here again. Uh, I'm in my favourite drawing app, Paper by 53. Um, this drawing, I think, will give you an insight into sometimes how I actually work. Um, I've got this idea for um, a quite complex painting and I wanted to work it out as a sketch before um, I actually start painting. And I have three, actually I had more than three, I've got quite an handful of, of uh, photos to use, but I've selected three uh, for this sketch to show you how sometimes I'll take more than one sketch and um, put things together. So this was, I recently went to a proms in the park in a local village. It was really cool. There was a brass band playing and people took their own uh, picnic tables and ampers and things. And I had the idea that it would be quite cool to have somebody that looked typically English pouring out a, a, a cup of tea from a teapot whilst around them there was all the chaos of somebody, well, not somebody, the brass band playing uh, sort of pomp, uh, sorry, Land of Open Glory and um, all this mayhem going off and people waving Union Jacks uh, in a nice way. The only way um, Union Jacks should be used, really, Um so it was a really lovely, friendly, family occasion with this awesome music coming from the brass band, Land of Own Gl Glory. There was kids waving flags and marching around with flags. And I thought it would be cool in all of this mayhem to have an English lady oblivious to all of that pouring out a cup of tea. So it needed some working out. So I, I took these three uh, photographs and I just began sketching. And I'm still using, I'm going to finish this sketchbook uh, with um, pen and ink. I think I'm getting to the end of the pen and ink drawings. I want, I feel like I want to get back to some sort of pencil drawings again. Um, so I may start a new book soon. But. Yeah, I was just using the pen and ink. And I'm not, as you can see, I am not interested in sort of details around hands and things. Uh, my impatience doesn't let me, uh, on something like this, it doesn't let me take the time to make a perfect sketch. And um, all I wanted to do was quickly get down some ideas and lay in, in places um the sort of conductor of the brass band, you'll see a few effort. There's, there we go. There's a tuba just being sketched in, although you wouldn't imagine in a million years that was actually a tuba, but I know what it is. And uh, this sort of little kids in there, that's just sort of an indication of a shape. I did take a little bit of time on the woman in the front, trying to get the proportions of her arm, right? Um, because obviously that's all come off the top of me head, the teapots and the cut I've made up. And, and then I started with the palette that was, that I'd used previously in paper 53. And I sort of tweaked the colors a bit. And I like this. I started off doing the woman on the right with a pot of tea. And I chose the color for a, a cardigan and for a hat and the teapot. And then I thought this would be really cool to work with this limited palette and even paint the flags in those sort of reds and grey blues rather than the actual proper colours. So I came up with this um, really muted looking sketch uh, and I thought once I've done the sketch let's get some colour on it and I really love the way you can um, use the watercolour and it doesn't smudge the ink. Um, unlike uh, happened to me recently in a actual um, drawing with real media, uh, which turned out to be a bit of a nightmare because I used ink that was water soluble and I put a wash on it and it all smudged. Nightmare. But this little app, you don't get that. Uh, it's like you're using Indian ink. 
And I have to say, don't forget, this app I'm using is the free version. So you, you may see different tools where you can zoom in and create layers and things, but this app doesn't have that. Um, it, it's much more trimmed down because it's the free version. So anyway, this is my little sketch that I've done to uh, produce a finished painting from. I hope you like it. If you have, a big thumbs up, as always, is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I have lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.